Dan, we're currently two games into pre-season. Results don't matter, of course, but we've picked up a draw and a win so far. Could you give us your summary on how preparations have gone up to this point? Um, they've gone the way I expected them to go. Um, the boys have put a lot of work in. Um, there's still a long way to go with it. Um, as you, with the two games that we've had so far, we split it into two groups. Um, and by doing that, we manage people's minutes. But by doing that, you sort of weaken both teams. I think the first game was a typical first game. We lacked cohesion. Um, I think no matter how much you train, you get that first game and that burning feeling in your chest comes. Um, but I think we, we was okay in the first game. I wouldn't say we was great. We was okay. We was all right in spells, in, in patches. And then I think the other night we was a lot better. Um, I think from watching that first goal back, I don't think you see a lot of goals like that in non-league football, which I was impressed with so early on. But with regards to results, they mean nothing. I t I'd done an interview back a little while back with yourself and I said, these will all be training exercises um, for the people that have been here. You watch me run the socks off them straight after they've done their half. So there's good mileage being put in and we plan to continue with that. And um, yeah, our first test was Holbridge. That was a 1-1 draw. Um, got an equaliser around about the hour mark. And it was a good initial run out for the boys to get used to playing with each other. What was your assessment on that match? Well, yeah, as I, as I sort of alluded to before, we lack cohesion. So you can train until the cows come on. But that match day intensity, the feel you get, the partnerships you get, we're still going to lack that for a while. Because you're not putting your team together, you're managing everyone's minutes. We've got a, a new medical team in now, uh, and we're very big into the sports science. So developing the power and the strength behind the actual player as much as what people see at the minute, it's all a process. It's a process. I don't think you really, if you look in the past, I don't think you really see where you're at until at least five games into the season. Uh, people keep talking about a good start, slow start. I don't think that the season decided then. And I think this is all a process of getting everybody together. Yep, and then on Tuesday in the heat against Harlow, we won 3-1. I think we were all impressed with how good the football was and the intensity throughout the match. Do you think the players found their feet a bit more in that one? I just think it's going to be like that as you go into it. The more games you've got, uh, the more minutes you have. I think the idea of the way the pre-season's been is we hit it really hard. We're breaking into the games now, we're managing the minutes. You would like to see a gradual progression to be ready to start at the beginning. And at the start of the month, we had our team day out with the under-23s at Nuclear Races. That's something we've not really done before. So how did that come about and what were the benefits from that day? Uh, it come about through Laurie. Um, you know, Laurie's like a keep fit Lizzie. Um, he was at the front of everything. <laughs> he was cheering everybody on. Um, so that was an idea that he put together. Uh, we will look to do something else as well. I think for the league that we're in, I think for where we're at as a football club, for everything that we've all been through the last few years, it's massive for the football club to have a togetherness, uh, a camaraderie, uh, within reason, a connection on and off the pitch. Um, and I think that was massive towards that. You've got to think there's a nucleus of the boys from last year. You've got a lot of new boys coming in. And the quicker we get the group together, um, the quicker we get people enjoying each other's company. I think that's invaluable for where we need to go. And some of them cold Tuesday nights when everybody's on everyone's back and they're all digging in, hopefully you'll look back at that load of mud and you'll realise that people sort of build connections and relationships and it will all be worthwhile. And next up for us is a Tottenham XI on Saturday, which will be a different challenge, one that we've not had so far. Um, how will we approach that one? 
with tin hats, with 10 goalkeepers. Um, it's a completely different game. It serves a different purpose. We'll be looking at a lot of work off the ball. We'll be looking at people's discipline levels and game understanding. Um, I'm not the weatherman. I don't know what the weather will be like. But uh, we got the evening kickoffs. So that'll be uh, a little bit better. But these are games that these players should be chomping at the bit to play in. Um, I always love pre-season uh, when you'd play like the big teams. Um, and for us to even get the opportunity, we're very fortunate. You've got to think with our pre-season and with me taking the job uh, so late on, it was a lot to put everything together. It was a lot. It's been a tough summer. And to get uh, a Spurs team down here, it's, it should be a good day. You've got the women playing in the day against West Ham. I don't think there's many Ishmael Prem teams there's not, many, there's not many teams at our level that will be having two teams turn up on a day and be having like a, a community day like this. So it's a day to enjoy. I won't enjoy it. I'll be going crazy um, because it's another working day for me. But for the football club, it's a great day and I hope everybody enjoys it. Yeah, and what sort of team can we expect to play against Tottenham? A football team. You're always fishing for information. All we'll be doing against Tottenham is getting people's minutes up. Um, so they've done 45. We'll now be looking 60, uh, even some maybe 65, 70. Again, I'm governed by the medical team and I'll take advice on that. But we'll be looking to get people's minutes up. People like AJ will be looking to start their minutes um, where we come a bit later into it. But yeah, well... We'll start putting combinations together, but I won't be putting teams together yet because my job at the minute is to have a collective group. I want these players all fighting to get in this team. For them to fight to get in the team, they need to be fit. So I'll err on the side of caution and medical science, which is all new to me, um, but it will be about getting more minutes in the legs. And finally, are there any areas of the squad you think we need to look at strengthening before the season starts? Um, I wouldn't say areas. I wouldn't say areas. Um, if I look at it, and I'd be interested to see what people think, but what their starting team would be, because we've got good numbers um, and we've got hungry players. But we'll probably look to bring one or two more in. The earlier I can get that done, the better. Um, but we'll get one or two more in and then we'll shut the doors and that'll be us ready to go forward.